cat 21 slot 1 quantitative aptitude question number 17 the amount Nita and Gita together earn in a day equals to what Sita earns in six days alone so I can write this as Nita plus Gita's earning in one day so n is Nita's earning in one day g is G Gita's earning in one day and this is equal to what Sita alone earns in six days so which means that if Sita alone earns S in one day, Nita and Gita earn 6X in one day. So the total earning of Nita, Sita and Gita in terms of Sita's earning must be 7 times Sita's earning. Because 6S is the earning of Nita and Gita and 1S will be the earning of Sita. Which means Sita essentially earns 1 seventh of the total earnings of the three. So this is the first point that you need to know. Second, the amount Sita and Nita together earn in a day equals to what Gita earns in two days. So Sita plus Nita in one day will be what Gita earns in two days. So which means if Gita earns G amount in one day, Sita and Nita in one day will earn 2D. 2G sorry. So their total earning in terms of Gita's earnings will be 3 times G which means Gita earns one third of the total. So now we know that Sita earns one seventh of the total and Gita earns one third of the total. So what amount will uh, the third person Nita earn? So we know that Sita earns 1 seventh or 3 by 20 first of the one of the total and Gita earns 1 third or 7 by 21 of the total. So Nita should earn 1 minus 3 by 21 minus 7 by 21 that is 11 by 21 of the total. And now we are given the ratio of the daily earnings of the one who earns most, so Nita earns the most, to the one who earns the least, so Sita earns the least. So you need the ratio of 11 by 21 as to 3 by 21, that is 11 as to 3, which is your answer.